The war in Ukraine has highlighted the urgent need for rapid technological adaptation in modern warfare. One of the most notable innovations is the use of FPV, first-person view drones as remote-controlled munitions. These drones, repurposed as autonomous weapons, have proven to be game-changers on the battlefield. In a groundbreaking move, the French Army's 1st Parachute Hussar Regiment, RHP, has developed an innovative system by modifying outdated rifle grenades for use with FPV racer drones. This new weapon combines traditional munitions with cutting-edge drone technology, creating a flexible and cost-effective solution for modern combat. The modified grenades, the AC-58 and the APAV-40, bring new capabilities to the field. The AC-58 can penetrate up to 35 centimeters of steel, while the APAV-40 can penetrate 20 centimeters. These grenades offer a highly effective means of neutralizing hardened targets, all while being more affordable and operationally versatile compared to traditional anti-tank weapons like the AT-4 rocket launcher and Acheron MP missile system. The idea for this project was sparked by a non-commissioned officer within the regiment, who envisioned a munition capable of altering its flight path mid-air to ensure precision. With an operational range between 50 and 2,000 meters and a flight time of up to 30 minutes, this system can be deployed in a wide range of combat situations. It fills a critical gap in the regiment's anti-tank capabilities, offering a versatile alternative to more complex weapon systems. The project's success was made possible through collaboration. An engineering student helped refine the design, and the Fab Lab in TARB played a key role in producing functional prototypes. The project is supported by the regiment's innovation cell, Battle Lab Terra, and the Army's technical section. The Directorate General of Armaments, DGA, has been closely involved, evaluating the feasibility of adapting the AC-58 Grenade for drone use and planning tests to confirm its effectiveness. The widespread use of FPV drones by both Ukrainian and Russian forces has shown just how powerful these tools can be. Drones offer speed, maneuverability, and the ability to evade detection, making them a formidable weapon in modern warfare. Some models also feature wired control systems, making them resistant to advanced electronic countermeasures, further increasing their battlefield value. Recognizing this growing importance, France's Military Programming Law, LPM, 2024 to 2030 sets a goal of acquiring at least 1,800 remote-controlled munitions for its ground forces by 2030. However, staying ahead of rapidly advancing technology will be a challenge. General Pierre Schill, Chief of Staff of the French Army, has emphasized the importance of maintaining an industrial base capable of producing next-generation munitions with artificial intelligence, designed to resist jamming and support autonomous navigation. To meet these challenges, production capacities must be scalable, ensuring a minimum stockpile for training and the ability to increase output during times of conflict. This approach helps mitigate the risk of obsolete stock and supports a shift toward a wartime economy, with updated training and distribution methods for military equipment. This project demonstrates the power of participatory innovation and adaptive thinking in addressing operational needs. By leveraging experimentation and real-world combat experience, the first RHP is staying ahead of the curve, ensuring that they maintain technological superiority while optimizing available resources. This initiative highlights the importance of agility and flexibility in responding to rapidly evolving threats and technologies. Stay tuned for more updates on military technology innovations and the latest developments from the battlefield. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Thank you.